60-something-year-old European leader with unchecked ambition, bent on crushing his opposition. No, we're not describing Vladimir Putin. We're talking about Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Turkey's charismatic prime minister turned president. Erdogan has dominated Turkish politics for over a decade. When he was barred from running for a fourth term as prime minister, he successfully ran for president. A position that's supposed to be mostly ceremonial, though his interpretation of ceremonial has been pretty broad. Erdogan chairs the occasional cabinet meeting, and even though Turkish law mandates the president be nonpartisan, that hasn't stopped him from campaigning for his neo-Islamist political party. And now he's calling for a rewrite of the constitution that would change Turkey's government from a parliamentary system to a presidential one. A presidential system with him as president. Convenient, but Erdogan argues it'd make governing Turkey more efficient. Efficient, probably, because his vision of a presidential system would not involve the type of checks and balances we're used to in the U.S., which is a bit concerning, because like his Russian counterpart, Erdogan has a penchant for jailing journalists, using force to silence his opponents, oh, and who could forget the time he cut off the country's access to Twitter. Erdogan routinely points out that he was elected by the people, and as such, he has a mandate, quote, to govern, but also to make a new constitution. To do so, his party would need to win a two-thirds majority in parliament when Turkey holds elections June 7th. Polls predict they'll come in just short of that. Meaning, his dream of a super presidency might not become a reality anytime soon. His dream of building a $615 million mega mansion with silk wallpaper? That he can check off his to-do list. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.